Hi everybody, Michelle here with Sew It Online and I'm doing another video on the Janome M7. This time it's about the circular foot. One of the cool things that Janome came out with when, the, when this machine came out and probably even a little bit earlier are two accessory kits for the nine millimeter models. The Janome M7 Continental is a nine millimeter model. So this particular foot has a beading foot. It's called the fashion and finishing kit. It's got gathering foot, a hammer, um, a ribbon sequin foot, an edge stitch foot, um, just to name a few. The other one is a crafting and home decor. This one has a border guide, the circular sewing attachment, which what I'm going to show you today how to use, a piping foot, a ribbon sewing one, and even um, uh, it's got a jump start guide and tips, and uh, it's just even a free motion couching foot. So I'm going to try and do videos on all of these, but today we're going to strictly stick with the circular sewing attachment. Now, the, sewing, uh, the circular sewing attachment isn't really anything new. Um, a lot of machines have them. You just need to find the one that fits your machine if you don't have a Janome. This is what it looks like. And you're like, how is this going to go on the machine, right? Well, it's pretty easy, and they do give you really good directions. Now, the booklet that came with this box has directions for each one of the feet um, that are included. So. Keep on, you know, hang on to it and um, try them out. They're really cool. Even just do it on scrap pieces of fabric to see what that foot does. So anyway, before we get started, we need to get some fabric and we need to prep it. So what you need to do is, I have a ruler here that has little tiny holes in it. Okay. And basically, I'm making like kind of like a compass. So if you even have one of those compass rulers or, you know, the pencil with the little compass thing, you can draw circles on your fabric. I've taken a piece of fabric, and I just put a center dot, and I just used a random hole. I'm going to put this on here, see if you can see it. And I put my one pen on one in one dot. And then wherever I want it to be, I put my other one. And I basically just spin it around so that I basically are drawing a circle on my fabric. Okay, that's all I've done. This kind of gives me the perimeter of, what, of where I want to stay inside. I can do multiple stitches, but I also want to make sure what is my outer, uh, my outer boundary. So I can't just use a simple piece of fabric. I need to get some kind of a backing for it. This particular fabric I put on ShapeFlex 101 or SF 101 ShapeFlex. It's a great non-woven fusible interfacing. Uh, I use it a lot when I make t-shirt quilts, but it's also a great stabilizer. You can also use tearaway stabilizer. That'll work out just fine too. So I've pressed and got my fabric ready. I'm using a friction pen so I can actually iron it off later. So let's set up the circular foot. According to the directions, the first thing we need to do is take the cover off of the bobbin case. Put it off to the side so you don't lose it because you're not going to need it right now. When you look at this, you're going to see there's a little black cover where this pin is. This pin is going to go in the center of your circle. We're going to cover that up for the time being. This little plate right here, and it will only fit one way, fits directly on top of your bobbin case. Okay? I'm going to take the little screw that comes with it and it screws right into your needle plate. Now the needle plate I'm using is the one it, that comes with the machine that's on the machine when you get it. So you can do any of those decorative stitches. I'm not doing this, the needle plate with the single stitch. Okay? So we've got it set and it's not going anywhere. Now, this is basically your ruler here that will actually let you decide how tight or how, like where you want that circle to be. In order to move it, you take this and you pull it down. Then you can slide this bar back and forth as to how large you want that circle to be. I'm just going to move it in right about there. Then I'm going to take this bar and it's still sized, so I'm going to move it up so that it doesn't move anymore. So you can see my lines are directly parallel with each other, and this foot isn't going anywhere. 
The next thing I want to do, oh, and make sure before you put this on, make sure you've got a full bobbin because you don't want to have to take it off, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cover off of my pin, put my cover in a safe spot, put my fabric over this, but put that point right in the center. And my fabric's going to go underneath my presser foot. So I'm going to find my center. And you see how I have it right there? Take your cover and put it back on. All right. So what this is going to allow you to do is this is going to stitch and go in a full circle. The nice part, you can then lift it up and adjust this so it's a little bit wider or a little bit longer. But let's just get a stitch started. So we've got our pin in. I'm going to go to the home screen and let's choose just a simple decorative stitch. Let's just do a simple zigzag for right now. I'm going to put my presser foot down. Put this to the back. And we can start stitching. Now this is something you really don't have to guide it, but you do kind of want to take a look at it and see what's going on. And you see how it's turning? And every down and then, I'm going to put my foot so my foot goes up when I'm done. And see how it, then it flattens out my material real nice. So make sure you highlight that. Starts a bunch a little bit, just stop as it turns. Stop. Okay. So I can keep continuing all the way around the circle and it'll match up right along the other side. I'm going to cut the threads here for a second. And I have to tell you, you can certainly use your embroidery thread so that you can create decorative stitches using embroidery thread and make them nice, like a little bit shinier. The other thing is, now that I've got this circle started, now I can actually adjust this and maybe go a little bit farther in or a little bit farther out. How cool would this be if I then change my thread color? I can keep my bobbin in whatever it is. Probably I can even stick with white the whole time, but I can change my thread colors depending on the fabric that this is going to go into. So let me change this real quick. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to move it a little bit closer to the needle, lock it down, and see how I'm just inside the zigzag that I did before? Let's change the stitch now to something different. Let's do, let's do this one here, okay? Now, I can also adjust this where if I want it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower, these two buttons on the side are like quick access to your stitch width and your stitch length. So I've just adjusted that just a little bit. Now I do want to make sure that I finish that stitching. If I have to stop, I'm going to make sure I write down these numbers so I can go back to that stitch again uh, and have the same size. So let's put the presser foot down and my presser foot will lift when I stop. And let's try this one. How cool is that, right? Now, you can see I have the same thread in, 
but you can keep it that way or you can change the thread colors out. You can use a thicker weight thread. Embroidery thread is usually a 40 weight, but remember there's different brands out there, especially like Sulky, they have a 12 weight thread. You could really see those decorative stitches sit on top of the fabric if you use that weight thread. So the circular foot is very easy to use. Once I'm done with this, I can either leave it this way and applique it onto something, or I can actually cut it in half and in half again, and use it in the corner of maybe some quilt blocks to add some decorative stitches to it. So the circular foot really adds some, uh, a whole nother level of stitching and a whole nother level of creativity with whatever you're sewing. So I highly recommend giving it a chance and give it, uh, uh, I think it'll be something you'll be pulling out of your sewing kit quite often to use. So enjoy that circular foot, and until next time, thank you.